Okay, let's cut this out. I haven't cut any of these pieces, unlike some of my other videos where the PUL is cut out already. Um, simply because of that business trip I went on and took my PUL with me. So we're going to do this minky one first because it's my favorite. Um, I'm going to start with the PUL and then we'll cut the minky out in just a minute. Let's get an ink pen or a marker. Grab our pattern and start drawing around it. Put it as close to the edge there as possible. This is nested pretty good. Let's scoot it over. Draw around it. This is a Babyville pattern. You get it at Joann's in a book. It's like a diaper making book. That's actually where I started. That's not how I started sewing, but that's where I started making diapers. So it's the Babyville pattern. Um, in that book, it shows you, it gives you small, medium, large, and newborn. It tells you what sizes those should be. And, um, you know, like the, the weights for those sizes. It also does you know, turn and top stitch. It does uh, fold over elastic. It, um, let's see, it does covers, all in ones. These are not the best scissors. Let's go find some better scissors. Here we go. These will do. Oh, much better. Wow, I haven't had scissors that cut this good in a long time. Let's skip ahead. Okay, that was easy. That first piece is cut out. Now, I actually need two of these. So let's get a little bit more here. Scoot our fabric over and see if we can't get... Yeah, there we go. I like to nest these together so that I can make the most of my fabric. I have a little bit of a kink in the corner there. I'm sure that was just me haphazardly cutting, but that's all right. Let's go around it. Um, I should be going around the paper pattern only because my marker rubs against it better. I think I can actually run the marker down this side of it and not worry about the fabric that I'm using. Very haphazard. I'm doing kind of a crappy job drawing around this. I have to do seven diapers in seven days. I'm in a bit of a hurry. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Now, let's cut this one out. Done. Just like that. Okay. Now I have two pieces of PUO. We're going to let that fall, because I don't need that anymore. Two pieces of PUL, and now let's cut our minky. I'm going to draw on the back side of this instead of the front side, just because it will be easier to see. And I'm going to draw with a regular ink pen because I don't think anything else will show up. I, I guess my marker will show up. Let's try it. Now let's kind of try to save fabric. So it looks like I might be able to get two from this. Not that she will want to, but you know. I'm on the salvage edge, salvage, salvage edge. I'm going to go ahead and stay on the salvage edge. Salvage in this case looks fine. 
most of it will be in the case, uh, case what am I trying to say uh, seam allowance anyway so I don't think it matters too much showing up yeah it'll be fine I'll be able to see it just fine actually got moved just a little bit but it's a stretchy fabric so I don't think it'll matter speaking of which it's stretchy so I should probably back it with the snap area with a little bit more PUL so that's gonna make it really thick. My minky's already making it kind of thick. I'll just leave it. We'll wing it, see how that works. You should probably back yours. I'm just lazy. Do it right. Don't take shortcuts like I do. Alright. Let me see if I can make another one. Ah, look! Just barely. Holy cow. Right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But the line for the uh, diaper pattern I just drew is right there. And there's another one. There's room for another one of these on there. That's pretty cool. All right, let's cut this out. That was easy. All right, now I have three pieces total. I'm still undecided on whether or not I should cut another piece of POL to put behind the snaps. All right, here is the leftovers on the minky and another little piece there so um, every time I use leftovers scraps for a diaper I seem to still have scraps left over oh well all right let's get this going here um, let's do it right because I have people watching possibly and let's get another PUL piece here if there's anyone out there watching, they've probably heard me say that I've never found a use for that middle section with the, the gaping hole on the inner PUL, but check this out, I just found a use for it. I can't imagine I'll use this vi option very often, but, you know. It would be good if I used the pattern instead. I keep doing that. Sorry. I'm indecisive. It's just a scrap piece of PUL. Nothing fancy. I don't do fancy. Alright, let's cut that out. Done. Just like that. Alright. Let's show you the pieces. We have... three pieces of PUL and one piece of Minky. Now we can start assembling. <laughs> 